And we are back. Predicting the playoffs. Every single game. So this should be very fun. Uh, I unfortunately don't have the times for the games. Uh, as you can see. But we're just going to roll with it. Uh, once again, this is... This is not going to count towards my uh, my regular season. That is over and done with. That is in the books. In case you're curious, I'll just say it right now. Uh, I ended up going 11-5 and five last week, putting my season total and the finale. So this is the final record to 174. Or no, excuse me, 179 and 93. Couldn't read my own handwriting there. Wow, I also got the lock of the week, right? Which was the Buccaneers, which puts my lock at a week to 13 and 5. Uh, that's enough of that. Let's get right into it. The first game we're going to be doing is the two seeded Bills versus the seven seeded Dolphins. We're going to be working from left to right. So we're going to do Bills, Steelers, then Cowboys, Packers, then Chiefs, Dolphins, and I'm sure you can figure out the rest. So the two seeded Bills, who are 11 and 6, at the seven seeded Steelers, who are 10 and 7. Uh, this should be a very interesting game. This is going to be kind of, in my opinion, a probably a blowout. The Steelers are hot right now, and so are the Bills. I just have no idea how Mason Rudolph's going to do come to playoffs. So I'm going to be safe, and I'm just going to pick the Bills. Uh, next one we have is going to be the two-seeded Cowboys versus the seven-seeded Packers. Uh... The Cowboys representing the two seed at 12 and 5, and the Packers 9 and 8 representing the 7 seed. Same thing goes here. Both of these teams are kind of are pretty hot at the moment. So it's gonna be very interesting to see. But we also have the concern of we don't know how Jordan Love's gonna do in his first playoff game, especially at the Cowboys Stadium. I mean, that is going to be loud. So is Orchard Park, so especially with the Sewers as well. But we also have the Cowboys who they never make it past the second round, it feels like. So but this is the first round, so I'm going to pick the Cowboys as well. Next, we have the free seeded Chiefs against the six seeded Dolphins. The Chiefs 11 and 6 representing the free seed. Dolphins 11 and 6 representing the six seed. These two teams played each other earlier this season, where the Chiefs ended up winning by a touchdown. However, times have changed. The Chiefs have definitely gotten worse than how they were at the beginning of the season. And the Dolphins, well, you could probably argue the same. It's the Chiefs. I'm picking the Chiefs. The Dolphins, we don't know how they're going to do in the playoffs. They were first round exits last year. And the Chiefs, they, under Patrick Mahomes, have made it to at least a championship game every year. So I don't see them going out in the first round. But this has also been Mahomes' worst year statistically. Next, we have the Lions, who are the free seed at 11 and 6, at the Rams, who are the, seven, or the sixth seed at 10 and 7. Another scenario here, we got Matthew Stafford returning to Ford Field for his first ever time. Also forgot to mention the last one, we have Tyree Kill returning to Arrowhead for the first time. So this should be very fun between this game because, you know, Matthew Stafford, probably one of Detroit's top three players ever. Obviously, the other two being Calvin Johnson, Barry Sanders, but we're not talking about that. My only concern is... The, the, the Lions have not played in a playoff game since, what, 2017? And they have not won a playoff game since, like, 94. However, like I said, times have change. Give me the Lions. Jared Goff, he knows the playoff very well. He went to a Super Bowl. All right. Down to the four seed, we have the Texans at 10-7 and, and the five-seeded Browns at 11-6. and six. This should also be a fun game. Uh, a team that... This is like the Sean Watson game, even though he's not going to be playing. The team who got rid of the Sean Watson and the team who got the Sean Watson. Uh, a big concern here for the Texans is a, you got a rookie quarterback. You have no idea how he's going to respond. The only bright side for them is you have D'Amico Rides, who has been to the championship game and the Super Bowl before. So he should at least know his way around. And because of that, I am going to pick... The Texans. Sorry, Browns. I think Joe Flacco's run as the guy is going to end here unless you resign him. 
Finally, we got the 4 seed of Buccaneers at 9 8 and the 5 seed of Eagles at 11 and 6. Uh, same thing. Buccaneers, they are super hot. I mean, they are like one of the hottest teams in the league right now. While the Eagles are the opposite, they have lost, what is it, five out of their last six, four out of their last five, something like that. So that's going to be a big concern for them. However, I am still going to pick the Eagles. I think they know the playoffs very well. They went to the Super Bowl last year. I don't see them, same thing with the Chiefs, going out in the first round. This now brings us to our divisional round. We're going to start out in the NFC because it's the closer one. We have the two-seeded Cowboys versus the three-seeded Lions. This should be a fun one. The last time the Lions were in the playoffs, I believe, they lost to the Cowboys. So, even better. A uh, little bit of revenge, potentially. And, like I said, the Cowboys usually don't make it past the divisional round. So, because of that, give me the Lions. Then we got the one seed of 49ers against the five seed of the Eagles. Another bit of revenge. This was the NFC Championship game last year. And, well, I feel like one team is playing the same they did last year, except healthy. And the other is playing way worse than they did last year. Or at least right now. So I'm going to take the 49ers. It's only right. I mean, they are the hot team right now. Give me them. We got the one seed of Ravens versus the four seeded Texans. Uh, the Ravens, they are, I would argue, the hottest team in the league right now. I mean, they literally won. Uh, they blew out the Dolphins, and they took care of business against the 49ers pretty easily. I'm taking the Ravens. I'm sorry, Texans. I really love you guys, but this is your first year with, uh, with the coach and the quarterback. So just give it another year, and you guys will be ready. Next, we got the two-seeded Bills against the three-seeded Chiefs. I mean, who wouldn't want to watch this game? These two teams have been battling against each other for the playoffs for the past few years now. Every time these two teams play each other, it's must-watch TV. And unfortunately, the Bills just haven't had a good track record against the Chiefs in the playoffs. And I think that's going to stay the same. I'm going to take the Chiefs. We're in the conference championship games now. This is for... Their conference, this is for a trip to the Super Bowl. We have the one seed of 49ers against the three seed of the Lions. We're going to do first. This should be a very fun game. 49ers looking to get back to the playoffs, or excuse me, back to the Super Bowl. Last time they did that, they lost to the Chiefs, what was it, four years ago? Yeah? Because you had that Ravens, oh, yeah, four years ago. So you had the Chiefs, Buccaneers. Rams, Bengals, and then Chiefs, Eagles. So that yeah, four years ago. Uh, I am sorry, Lions. I think your your story is gonna run short this year. But I am expecting big things from you for coming years. And you made the championship game. This is a W season. Meanwhile, you have the one seated Ravens against the three seated Chiefs. I have no idea who that Snapchat person is. I hate how Snapchat just keeps giving me these friend suggestions. I have no idea who they are. I've never even heard of them. Uh, yeah, this is this is expected. The Ravens, the best team in the league, in my opinion, right now, and the Chiefs, the team who's always made it to the championship game with Patrick Mahomes as the starting QB. This is, this is going to be very fun. John Harbaugh just got to watch his brother win a national championship. Potentially, yeah. I mean, what's about to jump ahead? If there was, you know, one championship to be revoked, it would be this one. So I'm not going to say they've won just yet. They have. They deserved it. It's just, I don't know how the, the, the league's going to respond to that. Then you got the Chiefs. I mean, they're looking to go back to back for third time in four years or like four. Third time in five years or something like that. I'm taking the Ravens. They, I mean, they've earned it. John Harbaugh hasn't been since 2014. Oh, yeah. And to end it all off, we got the battle of the one seeds. The Ravens, the 49ers, these two teams played in the regular season. The Ravens obviously won that game. It wasn't really close. It was three scores, I believe. But I'm going to take the 49ers. This is my predictions. 
Uh, if you want me to know what I would want to happen, uh, the Green Bay Packers, obviously. It's my favorite team. But bias aside, I really feel like the Lions would be, like, the best team to win because of how much that fan base has endured the past 30, 30 years. I mean, they have had, like, no success. I feel like a Super Bowl, really, like, I'm really hoping the Lions can get one. And I, I'm i really hoping that my predictions stand right. I mean, a championship appearance for them would be amazing, and I would expect more for years to come. But this is my prediction. Uh, and right now, if my prediction was to stand, I am going to give a score and a MVP. Uh, the score... I think would be probably 38 to 30. I think that was like the score last year or something. But I'm going to go with that. 38, 30. Maybe a bit lower. Maybe like a 31 to 23 type game. I think it's going to be around the 8 point range. Not 7, 8. Because I think the Ravens are going to be down two scores. Go for two and miss it. And the MVP of the game... It's obvious it's going to be one of three players in my eyes. And Nick Bosa, uh, Brock Purdy, and CMC. I think CMC is personally going to get it. So, I think CMC will be uh, Super Bowl MVP. I think he should be. Knowing no, no, knowing them, if they were to win that game, they'd give it to Brock Purdy regardless. But I think CMC would have a great game. But that's, that's it. That is my prediction for the whole entire playoffs. This is the final predictions I'm doing this season, predicting the whole thing. Uh, quick reminder, I will be posting on Twitter or X, whatever you prefer. I'm always going to be Twitter. Uh, power rankings uh, every Tuesday or maybe Wednesday. It's kind of Wednesday probably for one week because of work. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be posting one through eight, one through... Four and one and two. And then on Twitter, because I'm not going to make a video of just eight teams. Sorry if you were hoping for that. But for predictions, that's it. I will post, uh, like I did here with the Super Bowl, I will post that, like the MVP and the score. But I'm not going to keep doing that every week. Uh, I feel like we're just going to leave this one here. So that is going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Ooh. I did. I will see you guys next time. Which might be a long time. But I do plan on having a mock draft come out on Monday. Uh, not, yeah, this Monday after the wild card round. So yeah, look forward to that. It might come out on Tuesday, actually, because of the, that final Monday wild card game. So maybe Tuesday. But goodbye, hope you enjoyed, and let me know if you agree with my picks.